you could use a few more baits in your tackle box, right? What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. Today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorite musky baits for fishing muskies in rivers. Now, I'm no expert at fishing for muskies in general, uh, least of most rivers, but I have found that it is uh, really fun. Uh, it's sort of an untapped resource, I guess. Not a lot of people do it, so it is an amazing way to get out Enjoy the outdoors as we all like to do, and hopefully catch a couple of those wily river muskies. So what we're gonna do is go down uh, the list of my top three favorite musky river baits, and I'll throw one in at the end uh, as a little added bonus. All right, the first one we're gonna look at is the little blunt nose. Let's see if we can see it. Come on, camera, there we go. Kodiak blunt nose, this is a five and a half inch little glide bait it is the smaller brother of the kodiak round nose which is a six and a half inch glide bait both by chaos tackle you can find it on the website i'll try to remember to put a link for these guys in the description below but yeah these little glide baits in small rivers are just a fantastic bait in fact uh my buddy nate got a beautiful 42 and a half inch on the northern wisconsin opener last year with this fish okay It's a good thing we got the net all ready to go. <laughs> How are we looking here, Nathan? Okay. Yes, Ooh, he's. Is that a walleye? Yeah, he's just staying down. <laughs> One more time. Yep. <laughs> grab Ooh, and he's off. And he's off. Holy cow, he dead stick that thing. <sighs> cool, man. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah. Nicely done. That's a nice fish. I stuck it, and it just felt like a log. Like there was no head shake or yeah. anything like that. And it was, whoa. <laughs> That's cool, dude. That's a tanker, man. Yeah, man. That's a fatty. I'm going to. You set her down. Okay. All right, here's Nathan's fish. <sighs> Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Just pounded that bull nose again. Blunt nose, Nathan. Come on here. What is it? It's a blunt nose. Sorry. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm shaking. I am so excited. What a fish, man. And then a few days later, I was using the same bait and caught a couple of nice upper 30 inch fish while we were floating a river. And this thing just works amazing. In fact, this is a really good spring bait. All of these baits I'm going to be talking about are good spring baits as well as good river baits because you can fish them up in shallow water where a lot of times we're looking for those spring muskies. First pick, Kodiak Blunt Nose. Let's move on to number two. All right, number two, Lee Lures Mini Boiler Maker. Uh, any small bucktail, Esox Assault, uh, really works. But the unique thing about the Boiler Maker, it's a lighter bait. Uh, it has a wood body which keeps it up in the water column a little bit higher. So for reeling it along nice and slow in these little uh, nooks and crannies of rivers, trying to find these muskies, uh, this thing just works amazing. We've caught a couple of fish on this. Um, you get some nice strikes from uh, smallies too when you're fishing these rivers on, on a smaller spinner like this. But as I said, this is my pick, but any small bucktail, double eight, single eight, that sort of thing uh, should do the trick. And you just can't go wrong with a bucktail. I don't care where you are. Um, 
Here's a little clip of a nice 39 incher I got with my friend Nathan. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish, Nathan, nice fish. I don't know if I'm gonna. All right, here he comes. Yeah. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, dude. That's a good one. All right, I got it. Go ahead and drop an anchor. Oh, just be cooked. You got that uh, pliers, bud? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, bait's out. Bait's out. You kind of screwed up my boiler maker. Yeah. There we go, baby. Look at that one. What a beautiful fish. That's awesome. That is so cool. So there you have it. That's my number two pick, the Lee Lures Mini Boiler Maker, uh, and in parentheses, any small bucktail, really. All right, last and certainly not least, this is the Lee Lures 8-inch Pelagic Swim. If you watch this channel at all, you've seen me use this bait, uh, mostly on river trips. In fact, I got my biggest muskie last year, a giant 50 and a half incher on this bait. Okay. Right here. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Okay, right here, right here. No, 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 no. This time. There she comes. I just saw it. Nope. Holy that God. is the tank we Whoa. were looking for, buddy. Wow. wow. Let's get an anchor down. Wow. And She's the bait's out. 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 Dude, that's oh. a Mondo, baby. Oh that's a Mondo. Oh my god, this might be one of the biggest muskies I've ever caught. <laughs> Look at that thing! And later trips in the year, I was throwing this around. Uh, one of the prettiest looking tiger muskies I've ever caught, I caught on this. This thing is just amazing. It stays high in the water column. You've got this wood body front to it uh, with the paddle tail back has a nice side to side action. Of course, you've got the kick of the paddle tail. And as you can see, I've modified mine a little bit. I put this little dropper on here. You may have seen videos for the Musky Innovations Shallow Invader where people put a, a little dropper on there to get it a little bit further back and down. I've found that uh, you get a lot of fish caught in the corner of the mouth on this back hook like this. But I also know guys that fish it as is and they catch plenty of fish that way too. So uh, if that makes you feel good about it, uh, we know that confidence is key in musky fishing. So if it makes you feel good about it, go ahead and add a little dropper like this. I just ran the wire from the front to the back um, so it doesn't, I just didn't want it to swing up too high and uh, catch this back tail. So if you can make it work, go ahead and do it. If not, this bait fishes fantastic the way it is. So this is probably my number one pick as far as river musky baits go. Like I said, it stays high in the water column. You can work it nice and slow and the fish just seem to go for it. Now that we've seen the top three, I promised a little bonus bait and there it is. Come on, focus. There we go. A whopper plopper. Um, these little guys are, they just catch fish all over the place. I like throwing this on days where maybe we're not seeing much or maybe you're getting a little bit bored because I know that a smallmouth will come up and whack this and at least give me a little action, maybe a pike. But I've also caught plenty of muskies on this. Uh, Nathan had a couple of fish blow up, had a really nice fish blow up, and, and uh, it was an upper 30 inch fish that hit right at the boat on one of these. Keep down, keep down. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a dandy.
That is a... <laughs> One more time around. Dude. Ooh. What a beautiful fish, man. Yeah. It's probably the same fish we came back on. Saw him a little while ago, about two hours ago. He was kind of hot. Came back with a top water and boom. And as I said, we catch a lot of smallmouth. Everything goes for these things. They're fun to fish. They're fun to throw around on lighter tackle. So if you're going to go out and try to attack those river muskies, take the big stuff or the bigger stuff. And, uh, but always make sure you have something small in your back pocket for those days where you get bored and you might want to multi-species fish, I guess you would say. Well, I'm no authority on river muskies by any stretch of the imagination, but for me and the a little experience I've had chasing these fish in rivers, those are the baits that I always have on hand and uh, somebody's almost always throwing one of those at any given point when we're chasing river muskies. I will try to leave links for all these baits in the description below and if you have some suggestions for river muskie baits that you like, uh, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Well, we're right in the middle of Muskie Expo season, so we've got the Milwaukee Muskie Expo coming up. I'll be at that one. I'll be at the PA Muskie Max, Skippin, Minnesota, and then I'll be at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo in Wausau. So uh, I'll be in the Chaos Tackle booth. If you're out and about, stop on by, say hi. I can show you the baits if you're interested in any of these. And just, I'd love to talk to you if you want to stop by and say hi. I appreciate every single one of you watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.